Oh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that was pretty good. Um, all right, hi everyone. This is Sansamushi and this was just a quick checkup on my handstands. Um, I didn't do handstands these last couple of days. I needed to break, take a, take a rest because my body got all sore. So I just tried it after a couple of days um, in the daytime to see if I could hold it at all. And that felt pretty good. I think it's still about the same amount of time as it has been pretty much, but I still feel pretty good about that. Like that felt a little bit longer, but at the same time, it could just be feeling that way, but it was like the same length or something. But I really do feel like that last one was maybe one of my longer handstands or something. I'm just kind of guessing. Um, whew. Something I learned was learning how to fall. And since doing that, that's given me more of a mindset of where to strive for when doing the handstand, like how far to push so that I maintain a handstand. So those three good handstands in a row, therefore accomplishing my goal <laughs> of doing three in a day. So I think since today is April 13th, I started this handstand journey on March 15th, I believe. So we are almost approaching the 30 day mark. So let me go ahead and count what day this is. Um, 14, 21, 28, 20, oh, wow, <laughs> 29, 30. Today is day 30, wow. So, okay, yeah, this is day 30 of my handstand journey. Let's see, I guess I'm gonna push it further then, see how far we can go. Um, hopefully, not sure how well the camera is showing. But, whew, okay. Now the pressure's on. I'm like, whoa, this is day 30. I did not know that. Ah. I'm gonna say that's my progress. <sighs> I hadn't learned to fall. I could, I'm supposed to fall over instead of stopping myself from falling and like landing, but I just, I can't do it anymore. I have hardwood floor. It's just not the safest route, but I do see why that yoga instructor on YouTube um, said learning to fall. It did help me conquer certain fears and once I did that, I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so I think for now I'm good with that. I'm kind of done falling. <laughs> um, but I'll do more falling in the future, I guess, when I really want to like master it. My goal down the road is to be able to handstand for like 20 seconds, 30, a minute, <laughs> however long. <laughs> but that's some goal for like maybe four years from now. Two years from now? I don't know. It's like, oh, why not make it for this year? And it's like, well, I have other goals. I am now doing the splits type of journey. I'm working on doing the splits. So I think that is going to take probably the whole year, if not longer. I don't know. It might be sooner. It'll all kind of just depend on my journey, my progress, if it's sort of where I'm at or not. <laughs> But yeah, this was healing days for handstands day 30. That's my progress, everybody. These are my handstands um, for doing them for the first time um, in my life, but for 30 days. So this is my very first handstands journey. So you guys got to witness um, what it's like for me to try something new. So hooray! Um, hopefully this inspired you guys to keep at it with your goals. I almost kind of stopped, but today I was like, 
I did a weekly energy reading and I was like, no, I really want to keep going on my routine and goals. I don't want to stop yet. So I think 30 days of handstands is pretty good. Um, save for the couple days that I really knew I needed to rest. And I still tried to do them. <laughs> I was like on the ground and I was like, I can't. <laughs> I was like, couldn't even like make it. But because um, my arms are just so sore. But yeah, I'm really glad that I rested those days because now today it's like, whoa, I can still do them. And those were some pretty good handstands. It's like, I can confidently say I can handstand for a few seconds. Like, awesome. And I don't know, it's just really cool to see that you can do anything if you set your mind to it. Believe in yourself, everybody. Um, I'm sending you all lots of love and light. I'm wishing you all the best. Um, let me know if you guys have been keeping up with any of your goals um, or anything like that. Let me know if there's any healing days types of videos you would like to see about my day-to-day -day life. Um, I can try to do that. <laughs> One of the ones I want to do is my warm-up slash workout routine. I don't really have a full one. <laughs> Right now I do jumping jacks and then I do some lunges and then I um, do what is, what's called mountain climbers or something, which for me are not as bad just because this is, I, I, I don't know, I only do it for a little bit, for like 30 seconds or something. Um, then I do these fl flutters, like the legs, you like flutter as you go up and down. Then I do... I don't know, the other version of jumping jacks instead of these ones, the like vertical jumping jacks. I don't know. And then I'm pretty sure I do a plank for about 30 seconds or about 30 breaths. <sighs> or 15 breaths, however, which way, like 15 inhale, 15 exhale, you know, 30 breaths. <laughs> um, and then that's my warm up. And then after that, I just did these handstands just now. And next, I'm going to be doing stretches. So, yeah, I'm going to just do that now, but just kind of on my own. These stretches are for the splits. And maybe in like a month or two, if I'm getting somewhere with that and I'm keeping at it, then I will probably do a Healing Days video uh, about the splits and how I've been working towards it. But, yeah. All right, that's it, everybody. I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Take care.